I'm going to do a few trailers this morning. What's my hair doing? Oh, it fell out of the thing. Oh, well, whatever. It's morning. <laughs> uh, see, I get the phone. I don't even know what the first one is. Let me see. Oh, for Christ's sake. This is why I don't do anything. Every single Warner Brothers one is getting a copyright claim. So, in case you were wondering why people do the things they do. I'm trying to use the official trailers when I look at them. But, for some reason, the movie clips ones come up. So, I'm going to check out this House of Gucci trailer right now. There's a commercial on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's the trailer. Okay, so Lady Gaga is playing a Gucci person. I don't know the people of Gucci. I don't know the story about them. I don't know what they're supposed to look like. Adam Driver. Okay, I noticed already just from pictures, the hair and makeup looks bad. I want to know what's going on in the hair and makeup industry and why everybody looks like when you're a kid and you just throw baby powder on your hair to make you be old. You are Gucci. You need to dress the part. Jared Leto kind of looks like Jeffrey Tambor. I know it's him because he tweeted the photo. They're totally gonna hit this with the copyright claim, no doubt. I think I'm gonna rewatch this. Right here in this thing. Because I've been talking too much already. You picked the real firecracker. She's a handful. Jared's crazy. I'm holding it here now. Yeah, I see even an Al Pacino, who's already old, so I don't know. Here's what I think. Why don't I know the story if there's murder involved and it was Gucci? I don't consider myself to be a particularly ethical person, but I am fair. Access not bad on Lady Gaga. Right, with a musical ear, Can you should be able to do the accent, right? Father, son, and the house of Gucci. <laughs> she's, that's, she's chewing scenery already in the trailer. That looks good. Uh, let me go back real quick, because I want to see something. I want to look again because... Oh, I'm not trying to visit Fandango, cut the crap. What the hell is this? I'm causing problems for myself. Pause this. Cause I thought... Alright, I need reading glasses. I mean, I love this song. I love Blondie. I love Powder Glass. This is one. This is like the first one of the first forty fives I had as a little kid. I had a little, um, little disco suitcase record player that used to open, and it had little disco. Like, who the hell is that? That's still Jared. I'm sorry, I gotta. <laughs> that I don't know who that is this it looks like Benicio with heavy makeup on but 
maybe that's Al Pacino and the makeup's making him look like that because it seems like a smaller stature person. What point is that? The, on this one, it's 101. Not 101, it's right after 101. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, that looks good. Like I said, I, I'm my theory on the hair and makeup is that hair and makeup was perfected for film, right? So wh when they put the makeup, the old makeup or whatever on people to have them look different than themselves. I'm, I'm not talking about just, you know, foundation and prettiness makeup. I'm talking about, you know, old makeup to make the people look different or prosthetics or whatever. I feel like it had been perfected for film movies on film. Then once you come around to digital, digital, which makes everybody look worse because it's sharper in terms of pixels and all that, it don't look right anymore. And so you keep seeing movies where it's really an expensive movie made by Ridley Scott over here with that kind of cast. Budget must be through the roof. And the makeup's making me say, why does it look like the Brady Bunch putting on a, you know, a performance in the backyard with old people makeup? Like I said, just throwing baby powder on yourself to make your hair <laughs> and, and, and face look old. But besides that, yeah, of course, I would see that. Of course, of course, of course. We love Al Pacino. Lady Gaga's great. Adam Driver's okay. Who is that? Jared Little is awesome. He's strange to me, but he's awesome. Um, Is that Jared Little? Because the, the angle, I gotta find out who that is. I don't... I don't know. But anyway, this is my reaction to it. I'm gonna do a couple more. Oh, we'll see.